going to be tackling underneath of this counter right here, these four cabinets. It's basically one large cabinet under there. It's not separated or anything like that. And it has a shelf in there as well. And I have went through it one time since we lived in this house and that has been a couple of years ago. So it's kind of a catch all space for us. It does not necessarily have kitchen things in it. It's just a catch all space. It has things like, um, lunch boxes, coolers, dog stuff, um, extra waters and juices and things like that. I keep like my Scentsy and candles and all that in there and it is a mess. I have been meaning to tackle this for a long time so I'm going to get that done today and just for fun, if I can find my phone, just for fun I am going to not necessarily time myself. I'm not trying to beat the clock or anything, but I just think it would be interesting to see how long this takes me because a lot of times in hindsight, I'm like, once I'm all done, I'm like, wow, that only took, you know, an hour, an hour of my day. And now I feel so good because I hate organizing. I hate organizing. But I love the way that it makes me feel. So if I know like, okay, I can just dedicate an hour to this, then that makes me feel better. And I thought it would just be fun. A lot of you guys will ask me in the comments with my cleaning routines and such, how long it took me. So I'm going to show you the clock before I get started, but I'm going to show you a before shot of underneath here and then we will get started. Okay, really quickly before I get started with this mess, I wanted to let you guys know that this video is a collab with Brittany. Her channel is Brittany Boren Leach. I will have her channel listed below for you to check out and I'm also going to let her introduce herself now. Hey guys, my name is Brittany and if you've never been to my channel before, thank you so much for tuning in to Jessica's video. I have a lot of content on my channel that is just like Jessica's where I do a lot of cleaning videos, vlogging, organizational videos, hauls, all kinds of fun stuff so I would really love it if you would come over to my channel and check it out and hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the videos that I post and thank you guys so much for watching our organizational videos and I will see you in this a little is the bit. stuff that nightmares are made of right here guys this is probably every clean freaks nightmare but yeah this is what's been lurking underneath of my counter Tucker smells his dog food once upon a time, this was nice and tidy. <laughs> my cabinets are so beat up. You can tell with the way the light is shining on them, all of the, like that white. It's not dirt. It's where I have nicked them. These cabinets are super cheap and they have not held up well. But this is all of the junk. Like I said, I've got some dog stuff, some Scentsy and Candle stuff, tools and things like that. And then over here, that's my husband's cooler because he thinks he has to take a four course meal to lunch <laughs> when he's home. So he has a ginormous cooler. And then I keep our Walmart sacks there and our extra like drinks and things like that. And yeah, it's kind of organized chaos if that makes sense. I know where everything is, but it does not look pretty and it could be a lot better. So I'm going to get that all fixed right now. <laughs> Say something meaningful, say something I don't know I wanna know you better The way that you talk to me, the way that you make me feel I don't know if you're real I wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Put you in that spotlight you make me feel fine Wanna look at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you know you Till my lungs give out your beautiful Oh, I just want you now 
So here I was going through all of the dog stuff and I was finding all these little things from Tucker when he was a baby. I found his little sweater. It was his first sweater. It's so teeny tiny. And I think I found his little pee pad in there. And then these little things, you guys, seriously, my mom got these for him. Just look at this. There's a set of four in their little shoes. Oh my gosh. I, he never wore them, obviously, because this is what he does. I donated them to Goodwill, but I just thought that they were adorable and it was so funny when I put them on him because he was like, what is this? I'll sing until my lungs give out your beauty. So I just took some pine saw and hot water and I wiped it out really good. There is some staining you can see in that right corner. That's just from something that spilled. It's not dirty, it's just stained. And I took the scrubby brush from the Dollar Tree that I have multiple uses for. I love that thing. And I was fixing to retire it for dishes anyway, so I just grabbed that to scrub off some shampoo that had spilled in there. And then I threw it away when I was done with it. But that did a good job of just cleaning everything out really well before I go ahead and put everything put back in. in that spotlight. Looking at you all night, all night I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful I'm sure somebody will ask me, so I'm just going to go ahead and answer all of the little chalk labels that I got. I just ordered from Amazon. It was a pack of sheets. I can't remember. There's maybe like 10 on a sheet, and there were several sheets and it was not very expensive at all. I can't remember the exact shop that I ordered from, but I just put in Amazon chalkboard labels and that's what came up. And I still have several left and I use them all the time and I really like them. so I just finished and this is the time so it took about an hour which isn't bad and that includes me taking the trash out I let Tucker out um, and I went and put some things that I had taken out of there that needed to go in other places I went and put those up but that didn't take much time so overall 
It took an hour. You saw I vacuumed the floor a little bit from all the debris that came out of there. I wiped the cabinets out really good. They were pretty messy, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think it looks a lot better than it did. My no means am I a professional like organizer, but for me, this is great. So I'm happy. Everything has its home and it looks neat and tidy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, here is what we're left with. I got the square white um, storage containers at the Dollar Tree and then I got the rectangle ones at Walmart and I believe those were around $3 a piece so not too bad. Um, our Dollar Tree is always slim picking so I had to do what I had to do <laughs> but yeah so I will show you what's in everything. So in this one I have Tucker's dog food, dog treats, um, and his heartworm medicine. And then in this I have all of my candles. I have a candle warmer and a um, plug-in for like, I think that one's an Airwick. I got rid of all of my Airwick and Glade ones except for I kept one each because it was just really out of control. But <laughs> I'm going to donate all that to Goodwill. And then up here I just have some hand soaps and um, like a thing that goes over the soap and some wax melt mold thingies in there and then in this one I have more dog stuff this is just dog shampoo and um, another bag of treats and this is actually called a paw plunger we used to have a lab and his paws would get really muddy and you just stick their paw in there you put water in here and you stick their paw in there and clean it um, in the winter time that's what I would use I'm just gonna hold on to it because eventually we'll probably get another big dog so it was 20 bucks I'm just gonna keep it but I have like Tucker's old little baby pee pad in there and you saw I had his little sweater I'm washing that right now I'm just keeping it because it was my baby's first outfit so um that's what I have in there and then down here I have this drawer and this is where I keep all of my Scentsy. Oh, and this is just something I picked up at Target in the dollar spot and I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with it. It has this little thing where you can hang it. It was like $3, so I'm just gonna leave it here for now. But in this drawer I have all of my Scentsy stuff and I have some extra light bulbs, which is stuck in there apparently. So. This is my Scentsy. This isn't all Scentsy. Like some of it is Scentsy and some of it's Walmart. Um, probably some of it's other things. And then I have some Bath and Body Works. Wallflowers in here. And some like Airwick and Glade and all that good stuff. And these candles are actually left over from my baby shower with Kinsley. So I need to burn those. But yeah, I got some extra light bulbs for my Scentsy burners. And that's how that all looks. And in this, I just have um, my rocks from our fireplace. Our, we have a gas burning fireplace. And there's like a bag with like the instruction manual and some rocks. I don't really know why those are in there. But um, I just kept it in there because it's ugly. And that disguises it. Hi. Were you having a good time digging through the cabinets and seeing what you could find? All right, so over here I have that hideous big cooler that my husband insists on having. So that's where that is. And then in this I have, um, I forgot already what I put in this. Oh, I remember. I put a couple, we have a couple of extra coolers like when we go out on the boat or something like that. So I have that in there. And then this is the toolbox for inside the house it just has like screwdrivers and nails and hammer and things like that and then this is our Walmart bags we keep these my thing is already falling off we keep these um we use them for a lot of things we use them for the bathroom trash we use them to throw out like certain things like maybe something in the fridge or whatever we have tons of uses for them so we keep them and then we have extra drinks for the fridge in there when I only put so many in the fridge at a time just so that it doesn't get too much in there so that's where the extra ones are all right guys I'm glad to be done with that that was an hour out of my day not too bad um, I'm sweating 
But I am so glad that, that is done and I have about a million other things that I need to get done as well. And I'm going to try to film those for you guys. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to go check out Brittany's video, Being Her Dad With Mine. And if you are coming over from Brittany's channel and you made it to this point, I appreciate it. And I hope that you will decide to hit that red subscribe button and stick around so you can see future videos from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!